All right, hello guys, and welcome to my third fall forecast for the 2019 fall season. Before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content. I make all sorts of videos just like this one, monthly forecast, seasonal forecast, and forecast for storms that are happening right now. Anyway, let's get right into it. We're gonna be talking about the precipitation forecast first things first. And you can see there for central and northern California, as well as some portions of Nevada and Oregon, we're gonna be expecting below average precipitation for these areas, or at least slightly below average precipitation shouldn't be too noticeable but we are going to have a little bit of a negative anomaly there i do believe now in the southern four corner states as well we do see some slightly above average precipitation anomalies as well as heading into texas into louisiana arkansas mississippi all those gulf states down there florida up the mid-atlantic coast as well as kentucky tennessee west virginia ohio and then Pennsylvania and New Jersey alike, we're all going to be expecting slightly above average precipitation. And this pattern does kind of look like an El Nino pattern. I don't think we will be in an El Nino, but this is quite similar to what you would expect in an El Nino. It's just coincidence that this is the way it's going to look, though. Now, moving on to your temperature forecast here, you can see we are, we are expecting above average temperatures there for the Pacific Northwest into the Rockies, all of the Rockies, California, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, into the, some of the Gulf states again, into Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, up the mid-Atlantic coast, and into New England as well. We're all expecting above average temperatures for this entire orange region. Now, there for the Great Lakes states, as well as some of the central northern United States there, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, and again, the, the, those Great Lakes states, as well as portions of Kentucky as well. We're all going to be expecting below average temperatures for this region, and this is, looks kind of where the trough is going to set up most of the time, or some of the cold blasts as we head into the fall season. We're going to be expecting some colder temperatures for this area. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is move on to our overall forecast, and this is a really pretty map, and actually I haven't changed a whole lot at all on this map from my last video, so you won't notice you probably won't even notice any differences, but we're expecting average precipitations a little bit north of California. I did extend that a little bit too far south now that I'm looking at it, but we are expecting average precipitation for the area. And the reason I'm mentioning that we're expecting average precipitation for that area is because average doesn't seem to be the average anymore for them, if that makes sense. We haven't been seeing what your average is for quite a while now. Warmer than normal, again, there for California, Nevada, Idaho, down through some of the four corner states, into the Gulf states, as well as Texas, and then up the East Coast as well. Now, flip-flop pattern in this yellow region. We're expecting some colder uh, conditions, some warmer conditions, as well as some wet conditions and some dry conditions. It's going to be all over the place in this region, I believe. Now, we're in this blue region, we're expecting cold at times. I think that it's going to be a little bit colder than the flip-flop pattern area, so that's why I'm calling it cold at times instead of flip-flop pattern. Now, severe storms are going to be possible there for Missouri and Arkansas, as well as the surrounding states, some of the areas in the surrounding states, as I think this is where we're going to see a lot of precipitation, as well as some of the divide in the two different temperature anomalies. Now, Arctic blasts are going to be possible in this purple area, especially later in the season. This is going to be the main cold region for the season, the fall 2019 season. So I'm expecting from the Dakotas through Minnesota into Iowa, into the Great Lakes states, as well as Pennsylvania, New York, West Virginia, and Kentucky, Arctic blasts to be possible this cold season this year. Now, some cold blasts, again, there for that blue region from Mississippi in through Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Pennsylvania, and up through New Jersey and New York as well. This is kind of like the cold at times region. It's just on the other side. Um, so not much to say about that. It's just, it's kind of separated from the cold at times area. And then we're going to be expecting a late fall there for new England and upstate New York. We usually have very beautiful fall foliage up there. It's going to be a little bit later this year. So if you are expected to travel up there for the fall season, I would just like to let you know that most likely it's going to be a little bit later than typical. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this forecast for the fall 2019 season. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Make sure to like the video uh, if you did enjoy the video, of course. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one.